a high majority of our catastrophes have a connection to U.S. pressure on Israel to give up the biblical heartland of Israel your book, for an Arab state. Your book says the largest tornado outbreak in history. We, over, we have had five major tornado outbreaks. When the Quartet Roadmap... For why? When we pressured Israel to divide their land. When the Quartet Roadmap was delivered in April 2003... We had over a thousand tornado. We had a tornado outbreak in the Midwest. We'd never had one that size. We had hailstones the size of a basketball plow through a uh, garage in Nebraska. But the, when the nations came up with this plan, the Quartet Roadmap, which was the U.S., the EU, the U.N., and Russia, gave this plan to Israel how they were to divide their land. Europe had a major horrible weather for four months. Russia had the coming. Meteorologists said we've never see, we never saw this coming, and we've never had a weather phenomena like this in Europe or in Russia. Well, we had over a thousand tornadoes in the Midwest, in Nebraska and Iowa. And you said most of these have been costly. That's what you just said. Well, they're the billion dollar events. Most of them have been enormous billions, in size. Billions and billions. Yeah, you know, when uh, when uh, uh, Obama in uh, 2011, memory uh, has me right around May 19, uh, May 21st, 2011, he told the APAC, the is Israel's top lobbyist in the world, that Israel must go back to the six day borders, the hurricane or the the tropical. Uh, well, it had a tropical influence, but the um, tornado outbreak that hit Joplin, Missouri, was within a few hours. I've been there. Was within there a at few this, hours. They're at it. It was unbelievable. Within a few hours of Obama saying, Israel, this is what you're to do. I'll, I'll, let me tell you something. Joplin was wiped out. Mm. Mm. And I mean, wiped out. It looked like a nuclear bomb went off. And Obama was on a plane on the way to the G7 to persuade them to sign off on his plan to pressure Israel, and the Canadian Prime Minister, Stephen Harper, refused to, so the plan never got signed off because of Harper. Hmm. But Joplin hit as he is flying to his meeting in Europe to push the European leaders and the other G7 leaders to... Okay, to these, these hurricanes right now that have hit America... Billions of dollars, right? Oh, these will be 100, 100 billion, uh, Irma 50 billion plus, uh, Harvey 100 billion plus. It'll be okay. the top two or three of history okay. with the Katrina. You live in Washington. I mean, you're there. You're in the White House. What happens when we run out of money? What happens mm. when America can't? I, I, I mean, we're pushing money out. Our president has to sign these bills. He has to. Anything for crisis, he has to. But what happens? I mean, we're out of money already. Let's well, face it. Jim, we're almost at $1 trillion in these events that are listed in my book. We've had almost $1 trillion worth of disasters in 27 years connected to Israel. $1 my trillion. Goodness. And this, the magnitude of the event, you're talking about earthquakes. Uh, the only earthquake that took place of the 127 events was the Northridge earthquake of January 1994 as Bill Clinton is sitting with the president of Syria, oh. Hafez Assad, calling on Israel to leave the Golan Heights. Mm. And Northridge earthquake happened at that time. Mm. And I agree. I, I, I sense... Man, uh, that's powerful. Yeah. What was you, you have this in your brain pretty good, don't you? <laughs> I mean, but this, North, Northridge, you remember Northridge earthquake? Yeah. Yes. But what will happen when we, we just run out of money and our credit's gone? Well, Jim, I think, you know, what we've seen since the solar eclipse on Elul 1, we've seen a rebirth of solar flares, which can affect earthquakes, which can affect the magnitude of storms. And the word a couple of weeks ago is they're starting again, and we don't know how much is coming. Mm -hmm. I've seen solar flares during George W. Bush's time have a dramatic impact. Solar flares are God's EMP bomb. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about God, but I mean, come, that's, well, that's, yeah. that's from the heavens. That's the same effect as an EMP bomb. That's what you're saying. Yeah, they're very significant. They it, talk about this 
more underground in Washington, probably. People right. like Governor right. Huckabee says it's the number one problem facing America. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, EMP for sure, as well as solar uh, uh, influence. If you know, There was a, one many years ago, I think it was in the early 1900s, that if we had a solar event like we did in the early 1900s, it would, it would knock out, it would cost $2 trillion. What's alone. going to happen to the, the markets? The markets deal really with, with feelings and what might be coming well, when they see things you know, happening. Jim, that's a, that's a good question. What I wrote about um, in, this, in my update was the dramatic economic impact of 9-11 when President Bush was planning on an Arab state. What happened is we overstimulated the economy which led to China going, gaining by tenfold in size and magnitude. Mm. It also led to high oil prices that collapsed some of our major uh, car companies, automobile companies. Yes. It led to the subprime fiasco. Mm. So I, it, it is amazing what happened economically after the 9-11 terror events that led into the financial catastrophes of 2007 and 2008 for President Bush that also had a connection to the pressure on, on Israel. You might, you might remember the uh, collapse on uh, Elul, in Elul, back-to-back uh, -back in 2001 and also 2008, and uh, the, the impact. So with a long answer to your question, Jim, I, I look at everything in the litmus of the dynamics of what we're doing to that tiny little country that means so much to, to God, which is Israel.